I know that there are a lot of pet lovers out there who enjoy creating for <laughs> their pets and listening to their dogs bark. <laughs> <laughs> so today I have a project, uh, Mosaic, my, one of my first loves of uh, creating, and then I have this really cool technique that I came up with just by accident. And that's sometimes how they happen the best. That's the best way. Mm -hmm. So let's see what I have. I'm using the cool to cast today and a piece of foam core, uh, just quarter inch foam core. And we'll put that there and I've drawn my pattern on here. And what we want to do first is want to cut it out, our shape. And I use some little scraps to make a bridge so I can just go through and, and cut. Sometimes you have to look on the other side and help it. I don't care how sharp you have your blade, it seems like foam core dulls it very quickly. So you just cut it out. And I have one here ready. And the little ear that's in the pattern here, I cut it out and I glued it on with um, the tacky glue. Now, the cool to cast I've mixed in a container and I've had it uh, just for a couple minutes. So what we're going to do is again we're going to put a bridge underneath it and we're just going to pour it over the whole thing. Tap it a little bit, if you have some areas that need to be covered. And then we lift it. <laughs> and put it onto a clean piece and fix anything that you need and take it off the other where you poured it. I can see I didn't get his foot very good there. Do all the fixing that you need while it's still wet. Turn it around a little bit, make sure I've got everything covered. So we want to cover all the edges of the foam core. We don't want the foam core to show. It's almost like frosting a cake. Super, super simple. Clean this off. And we're going to let him dry for just a little bit. I'm going to move him because I didn't want him to be globbed in there. And I'm going to let them dry just for a few minutes and go to the next step. Next we're going to put in a little bit of detail. So down here on this leg, because that's the back leg, if you just barely go into it. And you could use a toothpick. Again, this is the back leg right here. And we just want to have a little bit of definition between it.
And I think we are ready to let him dry. He takes about, oh, maybe 30, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the temperature. And then this is what you have. It's hard. And you can see where I put the detail in the legs here, in his ears already. So now he would be ready to paint. And I want to show you my piece here. I just layered the colors. I put on a rust color first and then I dry brushed him with all kinds of other different colors. I used about three different colors, a rust, a, a kind of a mustard color and then a beige or like a terra, no it's a stucco and gave him a little eye and nose and then I kept a little bit of that rust color around there. So it went from this to this. Now let's talk a little bit about the mosaic because I did a really really easy mosaic. I painted my frame first. It's just a wood frame. In fact I didn't even paint the back yet. It's just a wood frame. I painted it black first because I was planning on not grouting this and I thought it would look like it's grouted if I just painted it and that's the easiest way to do a mosaic. So I painted it black, I glued all my pieces on, and it looks like it's grouted because the black you're seeing is underneath. And I found these really cool little tags at the craft store. And there's my baby, there's Foxy when she was little and, and really good, <laughs> and there's Dewey, the, uh, my older dog. But isn't that fun? Now I also want to show you before we, you, don't have, you, can, you can do more than dogs, here's a kitty that's ready to be painted. And also, I want to show you a picture of another one that I have where I did a bird and hearts. So you're, you're unlimited to your designs. It's just whatever you want to cut out of the foam core. And then you, of course, co uh, just cover it with the cool to cast. Again, it's such a fun project and it's so unlimited to the designs that you can make. So have fun with cool to cast. So where do you come up with this idea? How did you dream this up? I love it. Of course, it's with Cool to Cast. I didn't really dream it. I just was playing with Cool to Cast one, one day, and I think that there was some foam core and I had some excess um, Cool to Cast, so I just played with it. Because it opens up to so many more designs. Oh, it's just, it's gonna be unlimited. Isn't that amazing? And Heidi it. talked about her her dogs. So. Good dog is Dewey. <laughs> Where's your bad dog? Bad dog Foxy. Well, at the time that this picture was taken, because she was only like eight weeks old here, she's now eight months old, she wasn't bad. <laughs> now she's very challenging. So we need to ask all of our friends and fans if any of them have Queensland healers, because Heidi <laughs> needs help. <laughs> I think I just need to work with her a little I think bit more. So I think I better stop crafting for a few days and work on my dog. Good dog, bad dog. <laughs>